Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to this Madden face of the franchise and we have a record breaker here. I broke a single season record. I don't know if that's rushing yards or rushing touchdowns, but as you know, we got a huge win over the Bills last episode and we're going to finally see if we are in the playoff picture. But first, let's see what this is about. That's nice. I see those feet got a lot of moves, huh? You earn this one. Go ahead, write your name in the history books for the most rushing touchdowns in a single season. I salute you. All right, it was just a little uh, Chad Johnson cutscene like usual. We're going up against the Green Bay Packers. Huge, huge game. I'm going to rush through these because it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. There's nothing besides this, which uh, is a brand deal. But the 10-4 and 4 Packers, this should be a huge challenge. One of the best teams we face record-wise um, on the season. Level 11, about to be level 12. Set weekly uh, goals. Uh, rush for 150 rushing yards. That seems about uh, right. Uh, so I said, I think, I already forgot. Was it rushing touchdowns? I think it was rushing touchdowns. Do I have an upgrade, though? I do not. Okay. All right, and now is the moment you've all been waiting for. We are currently the three seed. In the NFL playoffs, we'd be facing the Jaguars. What an uphill battle this has been. But we need to keep the momentum riding because the Bills are right behind us. The Jets are only a game behind us. So we need to keep winning. If we lose this game to the Jags, it ain't going to be looking good. But as of right now, we are sitting in the playoffs. All right, after playing in the snow last game, we are back here in sunny Miami, Florida, going up against Aaron Rodgers, the back-to-back -back MVP in the Packers. But as you can see, 2,200 rushing yards, 28 rushing touchdowns on the season. And I just had my best receiving game last week against the Buffalo Bills. But now we got this Packers team led by Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, and Jair Alexander, who's probably going to try and wreak havoc on Teddy Bridgewater, who had an amazing game last game. And for once, we actually uh, start off with the ball. And I just saw, can I not? Drive goal. Break the 2006 season rushing touchdown record. So I believe if I get one more touchdown, that is the record. As I just heard of a man. All right, we got a second and 12 here. Once again, live by the run, die by the run. No matter what we are running, it seems like the only option for success when it comes to this team. Third and seven. I know literally. Yeah, should I run it? I'm kind of tempted. Very, very tempted, but you know what? We'll pass it, and worst comes to worst, I do what I did last game, and Teddy Bridgewater throws it in. Tua! Wait, wait, hold on. How did I just notice that? Who let Tua start? I don't know what lunatic let Tua start after the season he's had, especially after the game Teddy Bridgewater just had. I can't say his name. But this is blasphemy. This is insane. Oh, I'm going to run like I've never ran before, bro. If Tua's my quarterback, or maybe... I made Teddy Bridgewater look good. Maybe I can make Tua look good. But from that first uh, pass attempt, it's not looking good. First and 10, Tua is showing um, some signs here of being a possible, you know, starter. But I don't want to be switching starters this late into the season. As I just destroyed Jair Alexander on that play. Second and three now. Once again, going to the ground, looking to convert. And I am gonna convert. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually gonna fumble the football and turn it over second fumble of my career of the season wow that is wow that's stupid you know just when we start getting hope madden loves to rip it away if it's not two or throwing a pick you know we we can't go a game without a turnover it, uh, it's stupid oh the jets did the jets beat the jags no trevor lawrence that was supposed to be your game now this is kind of a must win once again because we lose the Jets take the division lead. I'm going to set Jalen Waddell on the streak. Jalen Waddell. Jalen Waddell. He's wide open. It's all right. No, that's not all right because you threw an incompletion to him. All right. Packers did not score, but once again, just like last game, we had a free touchdown with a terrible defensive uh, coverage by the opposing team. And uh, my quarterback just sold. Like, Tua had Jalen Waddell right there. And he, he just ignored him and this threw it an incompletion as I am going nowhere. Third and four. 
Bonus Lance, and we'll put in Tyreek Hill on a streak. Tua, 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 Tua. It's a touchdown. Tua. Okay, man, you you irritate me. Now, I understand why he didn't throw it. The cornerback was still on him. But for a second there, he looked like he was gone. For a second there, he looked like he was gone. And I can't go anywhere. And Jalen Waddell just got hurt. Wow. All right, Green Bay turned it over. But uh, Mike McDaniels, there's a reoccurring theme here. When Tua plays, we lose. He just threw a pick, didn't he? Bro, if we lose this game, because Tua freaking Tagaviola started when he shouldn't be, I'm going to be mad. We got 58 seconds to go downfield, and now we have this stupid momentum thing. Oh, dear God, Tua, bro. That was all on me. Even though it said poor accuracy. I can't understand how frustrated I will be if we lose this game. All because Tua started over Teddy Bridgewater right up the middle. And I'm not using my final timeout. Okay, I guess I can't use a hurry up either, Madden. Thanks. Can we at least get into field goal range? Get right here, Tua. Right here. Because I know we're not going to be able to get a touchdown. Don't never say never. They're probably going to kick a field goal, though. And I would be correct. They're going to kick the field goal. All right. Well, if they don't miss, 3-14. to But the Packers had the ball at halftime. All right. And we held the Packers to no points. You love to see it. You love to see it. Now, can we score points of our own? Uh, I am gone. Oh, my God. I got tripped up by 31, bro. And third and five. Can we just talk about how the Madden, the, the, if you smash A to break a tackle, can we just talk about how that doesn't work? I almost caused a turnover there. Yeah, it doesn't work. Because any time I do it, I break the tackle, but about 18 other defenders come after me, and uh, it ends up being a loss of yardage. Because you're sitting there for so long. By the time you break the tackle... It's useless. Third and four here. We need to score. Must score drive. Must score drive. Right here, Tua. Right here. Right up the middle. It's it's a glitch. It's a glitchy route. I know. It's cheese. But we any any way to win. Second and seven. I'm hoping to have a gap on that left side. And I do indeed. Dude, number 90. Scared me there, and I have a rushing touchdown. I was scared. But the Bills just dropped 52 on the Bears. The Bills. And, wow, we're going for it. The Bills and the Jets both just won, and holy crap, is that line stacked? What did what did we just switch that play to? Why did it switch it to another pass when I went for a run? That doesn't make sense. Can we get it? I don't know why we're going for two, and we're not gonna get it. Oh, did I? I did get it. All right, they pushed me into it. Three point game. All right, we maybe backed up to the one once again for like the 18th time this season. But can we talk about how clutch our defense has been? All season long, holding these insane offenses when we need them to. Like, a round of applause for our defense. They are absolutely amazing. They've had their moments. They've had their moments. I'm not going to lie. But they have been phenomenal. And that is not going well for me at all. Uh, why? Like, there's nothing but passing plays? Is that what we want to do? We want to pass it on third and four? Backed up all the way at our own seven? All right, Madden. I'm stuck! Jesus Christ! And we're not going to convert because I get stuck on the defender. Just push him. Just push him. Third and three. Huge conversion here if we can get it. Can we get it? Can the O-line? No, they can't. And the defense could only do so much. It was a matter of time. So now we definitely need a score here. 426 left. It was only a matter of time before the Packers scored some form of points. You have Aaron Rodgers on your team. And my God, bro, we cannot block. It's the middle linebackers that always get me. The, it's the middle linebackers. I'm not going to lie. Nope, 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 nope. And then our offensive line, they can't hold their block for long. They just, they just can't. Tyreek Hill is on a streak and a half. Tua. No, I don't want to go there, game. I just want you to hike the freaking ball. Jesus Christ. I don't know why it takes so long. Just hike it. If I hit X, hike it. Please, Tua. Tyreek Hill's not going to be open, but we're still going to get the first down. Thank you, Cedric Wilson. Three minutes left, first and ten. We, we got it. We got to keep passing. We got to keep it right here. Right here. Right here. Wide open. Second and one. Or second and inches. All right. Five figure. Whatever. I'm going to... 
I don't know why they had me running a freaking halfback stretch. This ain't gonna work. I already know it. All right, it worked. It worked a little bit. Let's see what we can do. My controller is vibrating so much. Oh my God! Number thirty ran right past me. We're at the twenty-one. Two-minute warning. First and goal, a minute fifteen left. I want to run out as much time because Aaron Rodgers is on the other side of the field. Aaron Rodgers is on the other side of the field. Second and goal, a minute left. 40 rushes, 170 yards. I'm going to keep running the football. Keep it on the ground. Keep it on the ground. Oh, my God, bro. Number 97 just destroyed my center. We got to pass it. We have to pass Why would we call a four verticals at the seven, Madden? At the seven. I got to hope I get up the middle. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. We have the lead. We have the lead. C.J. Lou. Well, actually, we don't have the lead yet because we need to score this extra point. And the defense has 36 seconds to try and stop Aaron Rodgers, of all people. All they need is a field goal, and they have three timeouts. So make the extra point. We did it. We hold off Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, and we are going to do it. We are going to have, once again, in the final weeks, the lead in our division. One-point victory over the Green Bay Packers. What a win. I knew they'd use that timeout. That's why I ran the ball. What a win. The amount of clutch time wins we've had in this second half of the season. I think this is the third or fourth game. I think it's the fourth. Because the Steelers and there was one more I forgot about. And then the Bills game that just happened, obviously. But that's it. We win by one point by the skin of our teeth. We win in Miami, 9-6 and six on the season. The first time we've been three games over 500 all year. And we keep the division lead for at least another week. Two more weeks left to make the playoffs. Final stats on the game. Tua, besides that pick, did not play bad. Aaron Rodgers played terrible, bro. We had him clamped up. 14 for 25, 185 yards, no touchdowns, and a pick. Clamp. C.J. Lewis, you already know what to expect. 43 attempts, 178 yards, a touchdown. Sadly, a fumble. And 142 yards in the air in the game. Winning, game clinching. Touchdown. Who got that pick off of A-Rod? Not saying your name, Noah. And then Eric Stokes got a pick. That's going to be it for me. We live to see another day in the playoff picture. Leave a like, guys. Enjoy. Subscribe, guys. Hard to do. GG.